In this video, we're going to talk about something called black body radiation and Wien's law. Now, before we work on this problem, let's draw a graph that's going to set the stage for our discussion. On the y axis, we're going to plot the intensity. On the x axis, it's going to be wavelength. Whenever you heat up an object, it's going to emit electromagnetic radiation. If it's hot enough, it'll appear to glow red. And if you heat it up even further, it's going to emit visible light, such to the point where it's going to appear yellow or white. And in some cases, it can even emit ultraviolet light. So that radiation that comes from an object, even if it's not heated, is known as black body radiation. Now you might be wondering, what is a black body? A black body is an ideal object, not necessarily a real object, but an ideal object that can absorb all forms of electromagnetic radiation. And so since no light is reflected, it's going to appear black. Now I'm going to draw two curves on this graph. A low temperature curve and a high temperature curve. So the low temperature curve might be at 2000 Kelvin. The high temperature curve might be at 5000 Kelvin. Notice that the wavelength at peak intensity shifts towards the left. So for the blue curve, it's right here. For the red curve, the wavelength at peak intensity is lower. As the wavelength of light decreases, the frequency increases, and this corresponds to a higher energy. So as you increase the temperature of a metal, it's going to emit light at a shorter wavelength with a higher frequency and more energy. Now we could use a formula that's associated with Wien's law to calculate this wavelength at peak intensity. The wavelength at peak intensity multiplied by the Kelvin temperature is equal to a constant, and that's 0 0.0029 meters times Kelvin. And this is associated with something called Wien's law. It describes the relationship between peak, the wavelength at peak intensity and Kelvin temperature. So in this particular problem, we have a metal that is heated to the point of emitting red visible light at a temperature of 4100 Kelvin. And our goal is to estimate the wavelength of light at the peak of the black body spectrum emitted by this metal. So that wavelength at peak intensity is going to be 0 0.0029 meters times Kelvin divided by the temperature. And we have the Kelvin temperature. It's 4100 Kelvin. So let's replace T with 4100 Kelvin. So the Kelvin units will cancel. And it's going to be 0 0.0029 divided by 4100. And so you should get 7.073 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Now I'm going to convert that to nanometers. One nanometer is 10 to the negative 9 meters. So if we divide 10 to negative 7 by 10 to negative 9, what is that going to be? What we can do is we can move this to the top where the negative 9 will become positive 9. And so we'll have this. So it'll be times 10 to the positive 9. Now we can multiply these two. We have a common base of 10, so we can add the exponents. Negative 7 plus 9 is going to be positive 2. So this becomes 7.073 times 10 squared. 
And right now, we can cancel the unit meters, so the unit is currently nanometers. 10 squared is 100. And if we multiply this by 100, we're going to get 707.3 nanometers. So that is the wavelength at peak intensity in the black body spectrum that's going to be emitted by this hot metal when it's at a temperature of 4100 Kelvin. So that's how you can use Wien's law to get the wavelength at peak intensity if you know the Kelvin temperature of the object. Now, let's move on to the next problem. A yellow star emits light with peak intensity at a wavelength of 580 nanometers. Estimate the Kelvin temperature of the star. So, if you have a telescope and you look up at space and you see a star, when you look at the color of the star, you can get an idea of how hot the surface of the star is using Wien's law. So the fact that the star is yellow, if you go to the visible spectrum of light, you can look it up on Google Images, you could see approximately one, what wavelength corresponds to the color yellow. And yellow, if I remember correctly, is about 560 to like 595 nanometers in wavelength. So when you look at the color of a star and you use that visible light spectrum to identify its wavelength, you could use Wien's law to estimate what the temperature, the surface temperature of that star would be. So let's go ahead and work on this problem. So starting with this formula, we're going to solve for T. To get T by itself, we need to divide by the wavelength at peak intensity. So the Kelvin temperature is going to be 0 0.0029 meters times Kelvin divided by lambda p. And the wavelength is 580 nanometers. And keep in mind, nano is 10 to the minus 9. So this is 580 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. So we could cancel out the unit meters and we'll get the unit Kelvin uh, for temperature. So it's 0 0.0029 divided by 580 times 10 to the minus 9. And so this is going to be 5000 Kelvin. So that's the surface temperature of this star approximately according to Wien's law of a yellow star or of a star that emits yellow light. So that's basically it for this video. Hopefully gave you a good introduction on black body radiation and how to use Wien's law to estimate the temperature of a very hot object.